Suppose I ask you, what is your most difficult subject in the school or what is your least favorite subject? What would you say? Many of you may immediately say maths. If I probe you more, you may come up with some statements like I hate maths or my entire family is bad with numbers. So it is not surprising that maths is the most hated subject for most of the students whether they are in school or they are in college. Because of this, they find maths to be extremely difficult and are unable to score good grades in the subject. But do you know that there are some people who would say that maths is their most favorite subject? We then come to this question. If most of the students find maths to be difficult, why does a small section find it interesting and easy? How is it easy for them? How do they approach this subject? What are those factors that make maths appealing to them? In this video, we are going to find precisely that. So stay with me till the very end and I will share with you 9 points, 9 tips to make maths your favorite subject. If you follow the methods that I am going to explain you, you will realize that maths is after all a fun subject and learning it is in fact interesting. My name is Arvind and I am here to help you learn faster. If you are interested in learning and improve your memory power, then consider subscribing this channel and click the bell notification. How to be curious in maths? Suppose you are planning a tour to France, the first thing you do is prepare a list of places you wish to visit like Eiffel Tower, Louvre Museum, Royal Palace and many other. When you imagine visiting those places, you are excited and your interest level shoots up. On the other hand, if you have no idea of what is there in France and what are the places you are going to visit, you are clueless and you don't know what to look forward and you are not as excited as you should be. The same logic holds good for maths too. When you are working out a math problem, if you don't know the purpose of working out the problem, then you are obviously not interested towards it. So become curious about the problem and find out its practical purpose and see where it applies in our real life situations. When you are able to connect them with the problem with its practical application in our life, then learning math becomes interesting. Every topic in maths, whether it is algebra or calculus, each one of them have a purpose or usage in our life. So become curious and approach maths from a practical point of view. Then maths becomes a fascinating subject to you. Do you think all the people who are good at maths are smart? We all believe that if you are good at maths, then you are a brainy person. What if I tell you this is a myth? Let us take a look at what Albert Einstein says. He says, it is not that I am so smart, it is just I stay with problems longer. Albert Einstein, who is one of the greatest minds this world has ever seen, says that he stays with the problem longer. By that he means he spent long hours practicing problems to become such a successful scientist. So practice, practice and practice. The more you practice and work out mathematical problems, you become an expert in that subject. How to develop a liking for maths? Many of us are fans of cricket players or football players or even some cine actors. And we show some extreme love, devotion and loyalty towards them. It is a carefully nurtured interest over many years of watching the sports or movies. And hardcore fans spend most of their time thinking about discussing about the game or the movie. As days goes by, this constant attention develops into extreme love. In the same way, in order to develop a love towards maths, spend time reading material related to maths, create a study group for maths and keep yourself updated of new developments in the field of maths. You will naturally start loving maths and end up liking this subject even more. Though this might seem little bit difficult in the beginning, if you are persistent enough, you will achieve your goal very soon. How to face the fear of maths? We all have experienced watching a horror movie at some point in our lives, right? We are terrified while watching these movies and some of us even to this day are scared of dark rooms. We may not have seen a ghost till date and science has ruled out the existence of ghosts but still we are afraid of it. Why is that so? Because it is all in our imagination. Suppose you come across a ghost in real life, chances are that you will stop fearing ghosts from then on. The same thing is with maths too. As long as you are avoiding maths, you are afraid of it. 
once you are determined to put effort in learning maths then it becomes easy it is no longer a dreadful subject so whenever you are struck in panic thinking about maths face the demon and start working out the problems take action when you are confronted with the fear your action will defeat the fear how to avoid feeling sleepy working on maths next time when you visit a cinema hall observe the body language of the audience while they are watching the movie during the slow or boring parts of the movie the sitting posture of the audience is little relaxed and laid back some may even start sleeping and some go out of the hall for a break but during the climax of the same movie everyone is alert and glued to their seat they are sitting on the edge of the seat with complete focus in your school during your maths class sit with your body propped forward you will see that you instantly become alert and attentive once you are attentive your understanding is better now repeat the same technique while working out mathematical problems you will see that you are able to arrive at the solution faster this is because when your sitting posture is such that your body is propped forward you send a message to the brain signaling that the thing you are doing now is important for you and you need to be alert so that you don't miss anything the brain then becomes alert and is ready for any new information it is impossible for you to feel sleepy when your brain is alert i have already posted a video on how to avoid sleeping while studying click the link above or check in the description below how to study maths when you come across a mathematical problem copy down the question and close your book now try working out the entire problem without looking at the book till you arrive at the solution you may find yourself stuck at one point or may end up making a mistake now refer your book and see where you have gone wrong make a note of that mistake if you do this you will never make a mistake again suppose you are working on algebra algebra has lots of formulas substitute different values for the components in the formula and keep working out the problem till the formula is etched in your memory in the case of geometry make a hint list of the steps in the procedure in a sequential order this list of hints will be very helpful during the preparation for exams all you have to do is to refer the list and you will easily understand the procedure this saves a lot of time during your exam preparation how to change your belief system well we have our own perceptions we perceive certain things to be easy and some other things to be difficult but remember nothing is easy or difficult in this world it is just a tag we attach according to our own perception it is all in our mind now let me ask you this how do you feel when you hear the word maths what are the feelings that come up some of you may feel frightful that is because you believe deep down that maths is difficult you would have got this belief from your father or someone in your family you would have heard from your father that you are not good in maths because it runs in your family etc etc these statements get imprinted in the mind and as days go by we they become strong beliefs all this happens without your knowledge as long as you harbor this belief knowingly or unknowingly you are going to find maths to be extremely difficult so what is the way out the only way is to change your belief about maths is auto affirmation or auto suggestion first prepare a set of statements like i love maths maths is easy for me i am good at maths i found maths interesting i am eager to study maths start each day with these affirmations say these affirmations out loud to yourself repeat this many times if you continue this habit of affirming for 21 days your belief about maths will become more positive when you take action along with this affirmation that is if you start spending time studying maths then magic happens maths is no longer that subject you hated but now a very easy and interesting subject how to study maths actively ask lots of questions clarify your doubts you are the only person who knows where you need little more clarity and where you need better understanding so don't hesitate to clarify your doubts with teachers or friends ask and you shall receive this statement is applicable not only to maths but also to life in general only if you ask you get what you want so ask and clarify 
Keep your mind active. Take notes in the class. Why maths is difficult? Have you ever wondered why maths is difficult for you? Let me tell you why. Basic foundation is important for everything in life. To get things right, the basics have to be strong. Only when the basics are strong, you can move on to the advanced levels. This is true for maths too. As long as your basic foundation is weak, you will always have difficulties learning that subject. A practical solution is to go through each chapter before your teacher teaches. Go through the whole chapter and if you find anything which you don't understand, go back to the origin and start from the basics. Once the basics are learned, it becomes easy to move on to the next level. So when the teacher starts a chapter, you will understand it easily because you have already gone through the chapter. This will boost your confidence level as well and you are motivated to learn more. So get your basics strong. If you think this video is helpful, then comment, like, share with your friends and consider subscribing this channel. See you soon next week with another video.